Adventure 7, Find the Secret Tunnel. You have been given a map showing the approximate location of a secret tunnel within Firestorm Peak. Defeat the Guardians protecting the secret tunnel. A map showing a secret tunnel that the monsters of Firestorm Peak have, are using to attack the village has come into your possession. You must seal this tunnel before Shardalon rallies his forces for the final battle. So, in this one I think I'm just finding a secret tunnel. It, I did the setup uh, using the Horrid Chamber, and there's a special card that's supposed to be used for that chamber. The heroes are Heskin, the Dragonborn Wizard, and Tarek, the half work Rogue, and has randomly shuffled and got them. Uh, Heskin has a Potion of Healing, and Tarek has the Dwarven ha Hammer. Uh, the drink I'm drinking, I'm just going to sip on some Baron Jaeger. It's a uh, honey liqueur. It's delicious. Other than that, I think I can begin to play. Okay, so I think I want to start with, uh, what's his face, Tarek the Rogue, just because he has a little bit more HP and he can take a hit. So I'm going to move him one, two, three, and he's going to explore. And it is a corner with a black triangle, so he brings out an orc archer, and the, the encounter card is going to be Dragon Fear, you are cursed, paralyzing fear overcomes you, whenever you move to a new tile take one damage, and I, at the end of the hero I have to roll to get a 10 plus, so he is cursed, and then the archer is within two tiles of a hero, so he's going to attack uh, Tarek. 10 and 6 is 16. That's going to be enough to hit him with an arrow for 2. Man, those arrows hurt. Alright, so it is Heskin's turn. Let's see, he's got hypnotism. Uh, I don't want to use that because I need 2 enemies on the field. Orc Lightning, attack up to 2 monsters. Each monster can be on your tile or a tile within one tile of you. So I'm going to use the Arc Lightning. Uh, unfortunately, I can't maximize it, but at least I can hit him. Hopefully. <laughs> That's asking for too much, apparently, because 7 and 5 is 12, and the Orc Archer is a 13. So that failed. Such a wonderful start to this. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 and explore. We've got another encounter card coming and wonderful legion devils are spawning. I guess that's kind of good because Heskin can do his hypnotism and whatnot, but that's if he lives. So uh, the encounter card is going to be a trap, lava flow. Place the Lava Flow Marker on the Active Hero's Tile. Trigger the trap during your Villain Phase. Place one Lava Flow Marker on any tile adjacent to a tile with a Lava Flow Marker. If possible, each hero on a tile with a Lava Flow Marker then takes one damage. So this gets placed here. I guess there's multiple Lava Flows. Yep. So it's like the... Oh, it says Red Hot Lava Flows from a pipe in the wall, so it's just filling the chamber. I can disable it with a 10 plus. Alright, so that goes there. Legion Devils are going to activate. I guess I should just put this here. And then they're all going to move in and attack. I don't know if that really takes up a spot or not. I'll put it there for convenience sake. Alright, and each of them are going to attack him. So first... 18, that's a hit. 16, that's a hit. 17, that's a hit. He loses 3 life. Wow. I'm rolling better for the enemies than for my guys. And then the Lava Flow. Uh, place one Lava Flow marker on any tile adjacent. So let's put the Lava Flow here. And then it says each hero on a tile with a Lava Flow marker then takes a damage. So. Heskin's taking a damage. Wow. So I, I assume I can disable any of them instead of attacking a hero. Remove all lava. Yep. Alright. 
So it is now Tarek's turn. He does not want to move to a new tile, I guess. I guess we'll do the lucky strike. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? I guess I'll do positioning shot, because everything has one life. I'll do positioning shot on the orc archer. 10 and 7 is enough to kill the orc archer. And I get to draw a treasure from it. Lucky charm. And he doesn't want to move to a new tile, so I guess he'll just stay there. And that way he can explore. But before that, I got a roll for Dragon Fear. Uh, still keeping the Dragon Fear. Right. Monster coming out is Dragon or Cobalt Dragon Shield. And it is going to activate, which means it's on a tile with no heroes and an unexplored edge, so I draw the bottom tile. Bring out a monster. It's another dragon shield, I gotta discard that. It's an orc archer, so he's back from the dead. And then he's going to activate, he's within two, so he'll attack Tarek. Nine and six is a fifteen, that's enough to hit for two. And it is now Heskin's turn. So Heskin is going to use his potion of healing to regain two hit points. And then what is he going to do? I could do Shock Sphere to kill everything. And then I could run. How far can he go? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not far enough. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could get him there. That's good. Uh, yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have the experience. I'm just going to shock sphere, and it when it misses, it does a damage to every, or it still does a damage. So all the legion devils are going to die because I just need to get them out of here. There's enough crap going on. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have him move over here, and he's going to explore. Oh, I kind of forgot. Uh, I'm supposed to be placing doors. <laughs> That's one of the main things. I completely forgot about that. So there's a door here and there's a door here. Uh, luckily, I didn't have to do anything with that because I had already explored this. But uh, That one over there. So, encounter card. Warp in time. Each player passes one monster if he or she has one to the player on the right. Uh, I'll pass the Dragon Shield over to Heskin, and then I draw another encounter. Cobalt Trapper is you take minus four penalty to disable trap rolls while this is active. Alright, I gotta place a monster on that tile. It's a Gibbering Mouther. Actually, the Gibbering Mouther would have been placed when I do that, so the Gibbering Mouther moves over to uh, to Tarek. Uh, did the encounter, so now monster activates a lava flow. I'm putting a lava flow on this tile. Let's see, it's not going to do a damage to anyone. And then the Cobalt Dragon Shield activates. I think that's all the lava flow tiles there are. There's only three? Yeah. Alright, so Cobalt Dragon Shield, he's going to move one to the closest guy. And that's it. So it is now Tarek's turn. Uh, he can't move to a new tile without taking damage. That's unfortunate. So, one, two. I'm going to positioning shot the orc. Orc Archer. I got an 8, and a 7 is a 15, so it's going to kill him. Get a treasure. And then I will move just 1 and take the damage. That way I can still explore. So, oh, before I explore, I got to test my curse. 
I got a 13 on that. So the curse is gone. And exploring time. Put another doorway. And no encounter. So it is the monsters activating. It's the gibbering mouther. He's going to attack Heskin. 8 and 8 is 16. That's enough to do 1 and dazed. 1 and let's get a dazed. Alright. So it is now Heskin's turn. What do we want him to do? I guess attack the gibbering mouth, the gray. Choose a monster. I can only move it one, so. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm arc lighting, lightning it, so. 19 is a hit. Gibbering Mouther has 2 HP, so it's not dead. And then I'm going to move 1, 2, 3. And then... Uh, now I draw a tile. A uh, monster comes out. Oh, no, it's another Legion double set. That's not good. And then the encounter card is Frenzied Leap. If a monster is on the same tile as the active hero, that hero takes two damage. Oh, wait a second. I couldn't do that because I was dazed. Resetting. This goes back. It's there. This goes back on top. And the Legion Double goes back on top. He was dazed, so he could not do two things. He just did the attack, so that's it. And then now I draw the encounter card. Uh, if the monster here is, if a monster is on the same tile, so no. Otherwise, draw a monster card and place its figure on the closest tile with an unexplored edge. So the Legion Devils are coming out just on this tile now. And I'm going to, since I'm on. Wait, where's the burn mark on this? Right there. Let's put them all on the unexplored edge. And where is it? Lava flow. Nothing happens. Cobalt Dragon Shield will move adjacent. Legion Devils are all going to move over and attack him. So let's see if he lives. 19 is a hit. 2 is a miss. Six is a hit, so he takes two damage. And it is now... Uh, what's his face's turn? Tarek's turn. So he is going to... I guess we'll attack with positioning shot, the kobold guy. Nine and seven is sixteen. Kobold is a sixteen, so he dies. Get a treasure, plus one to armor, and then I'm going to move one, two, three. Alright, so I have to try to open the door, uh, so I reveal it when I'm adjacent to it. So let's reveal. It's unlocked. Alright, so discard the closed door token, so it's gone. And I don't, it just says when I'm adjacent to it, so I move one, two, three, and then I'll go four. Because I assume I can keep going. And that's probably not helpful because now there is, oh, can't do a mouther. It's a snake that's coming out. Alright, and what's going to happen? Gibbering Mouther is going to attack Heskin, and that's going to kill him, so Heskin is out of it, and he gets dazed as well, unfortunately, and then the snake is going to move over here and attack. 11 and 7 is enough to poison, so that is done, it's now going to be Heskin. So he uses a healing surge to come back to life with 
three HP. That's not good at all. That's not good. Attack each monster on that tile. This does not count as an attack action. Uh, probably better off just using the hypnotism. Uh, within one tile of you. So he stands back up, actually. Let's have him use hypnotism to move a legion devil over to the gibbering mouther and have it attack. So, so that's going to work. This moves here and attacks and kills the gibbering mouther. So the mouther is out. Did I draw an encounter card with that snake? I don't think I did. Unnatural corruption. Draw five monster cards. Discard any that is not aberrant. That is what should have happened. I forgot about that black arrow. One, two, three, four, and five. Aberrant stay. Everything else dies. There's one aberrant, so they all die. All right, so back to where I was. Move that over to kill the grill. Get a treasure card. You deal plus one damage when you hit an adjacent monster with an attack while this item's in play. Alright, so now I can move. One, two, three, four. Ah. Uh, he can only. Oh, he can move six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Another door. Draw a monster. Hey, guess what? It's that grill I saw. on the board. Lava flow activates. Legion devils will... this guy moves in and these guys move to attack. Oh, I'm dazed. Crap, I keep forgetting that. So... Put this here. He was stuck here. This goes back. Keep missing those uh, markers, the conditional markers. So he couldn't have moved, he could only attack, so he's stuck there. So what's going to happen is he draws an encounter card for not moving. Gap in the armor, you're cursed, so he loses four to his armor, so he's pretty much going to be killed. Because when the Legion Devils activate, they get a plus 11 bonus, and right now his armor is a 10, so anything they roll is going to hit automatically. So he is going to be killed. Because all three attack him. Yikes. Alright, so it's Tarek's turn. He takes a damage from poison. This isn't good. I guess I'll do positioning shot on the snake. 17, so it kills it. Uh, scroll of monster control. When choosing a monster's action, the monster does not act normally. Instead, place the monster one tile of it adjacent. So I guess I am going to just move one and explore. Oh, this is killing me. So, monster comes out. It's a grill. Didn't know that. And then the encounter card is bad luck. At the start of your villain phase, draw an additional encounter card. I am going to have to negate that, because right now I'm just getting destroyed. So I discard those. And then now the grill is going to come in and attack. Uh, where's the die? Eight. And the grill has a modifier of seven, is fifteen, that's enough to hit for one and dazed. And I forgot to roll for the poison. So let's see what happens. The poison goes away. Alright, so now it is Heskin's turn. He is going to use the last healing surge to come back to life. So that's a problem. Then he is going to use Hurled Breath, which I can attack each monster on one tile. So I'm going to have him attack all of the Legion Devils. So first one, 17 and 5 is a hit. Second, hit. 
hit, so all of them die. And the cool thing about that is that this ability does not count as an attack action, so let's get the treasure. Then he can move six, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think he was actually there before, but whatever. He would have made it. And then he's going to. Do I want to use invisibility? Yeah. yeah, I guess I'll make him invisible. And then he still has an attack, so he's going to arc lightning this guy. Two. It's a fail. And then I can also use Ring of Shooting Stars. It's an item I just got. 11 and 8 is 19. It'll do a damage. And that didn't count as an attack. So, damage to the grill. And then it is Explore Time. So, draw this. At least there's no, uh, what is it? Encounter card. Seems like everything I've been doing has given me one. Alright, a bear comes out. So now the bear is going to, until the start of your next hero phase, you do not count as the closest hero that monster attack. Monster that monster attacks that attack every hero on a tile. So, so I'm invisible, the bear is just going to move one. Uh, and that's all that's on his side. So that is done. So it is... Tarek's turn, he is in trouble because he can only do one thing. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to try to kill the monster? Alright, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then explore. Ah. Monster is a human cultist. And then now the Grell is going to activate, and I've got the scroll of monster controls. So what that does is when a monster is doing its action, I can instead place the monster in any square within one tile of it if it's adjacent to a monster attack it. So I'm going to have it attack the bear. Oh, I guess I don't. Oh yeah, I do roll. And it misses the bear, of course. So, that I guess was kind of worth it. I don't know. Probably not, because it would have just moved one. That was dumb, but whatever. The human cultist is going to come and attack him. Nine and six is fifteen. That would hit and kill, but I am going to use tumbling escape. The attack misses, and I can place a hero on any tile within one tile of where I started. So I'm going to place him over here. So, tumbling escape. And what else now? It is Heskin's turn. So Heskin, what are you going to do? I guess hypnotism. He is going to choose the human cultist and move him in to attack the grill. And it's going to hit. So the grill dies. Draw treasure. Ooh, potion of rejuvenation. I think I'm going to give this to uh, Tarek, and he's going to use it to immediately flip over Tumbling Escape. And then Heskin can move six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Nope. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And explore. It's a long hallway. So it's going to be a human cultist and a Dwer Dwer guard. So I gotta draw one encounter card. Choose a monster not on any hero's tile. That monster moves one tile closer to the active hero. So I'm going to use that to move the guard closer. And I gotta draw another encounter because of that. And then now I'm surrounded. So 
All right, activating lava flow, nothing. Cave bear will move one. Uh, human cultist will move in. And I guess he attacks the closest, which is Heskin. So roll three. Uh, that's going to be a miss, and then the guard is going to move in as well. So it is Tarek's turn. Uh, potion of recovery, angle of protection, mm, tornado strike if I want to try to kill. Attack four times. Yeah, I'm going to tornado strike, and I can make four attacks on monsters on my tile. So I'm going to attack the cultist. Seven and five is a twelve. It's a miss. Attack the cultist again. Miss. Again. Hit. And then the guard. And I'm going to use Furious Assault to make that two damage. So I kill the cultist. And... Actually, this cultist was supposed to move over the last activation. Yeah, I think that's correct. So they're dead. I get a treasure. This guy's gone. Racers of Defense reduce the damage from the attack by one. Alright, cool. And then now I can move. Do I want to move? Or do I just want to stay there and explore? I think I'll just stay and explore. So top. And we've got the horrid chamber entrance. Draw the tile, and it's a large one. So, oh boy, it is going to be big. Alright. And then now I'm supposed to read something. The passage ahead widens, revealing a number of monstrous guards. If you can defeat these guardians, you can collapse the tunnel and close off this approach to the village. So, when that happens, I place some, and then I have to follow the instructions on the Elite Regiment Chamber card. So, place the secure exit tile adjacent to any unexplored chamber tile edge. So, I will place this exit here. Alright, Elite Regiment. Starting with the active hero, each player draws a monster card and places a monster on a chamber tile. If the monster is worth one experience, discard once and draw again. Place monsters on tiles that have no monsters first to specify which monster cards were placed. Put a shield marker. My goal is to destroy all the monsters in this chamber. So I believe I have to destroy all these these two monsters that are going to spawn. So the first one is going to be for Tarek. It's an Orc Smasher. So he will spawn, I guess we'll put him over here. And then Heskin is going to get an Orc Smasher. So two Orc Smashers. So once both are dead, then I can try to get to the exit. So I have to end my hero phase on the ladder to escape. So, he explored, and that's going to do what? Uh, he explored, so Orc Smashers activate. This one will move here, that one will move there. And then it is now uh, Heskin's turn. Uh, I need to kill him, but I don't think I can. He can move six, so one, two, three, four. Six. We'll put him there. That way I could attack one of them. Attack up to two monsters each. Or any tile within one tile of you. Mm. I think I'm going to use Arc Lightning and attack the Cultist and this Orc Smasher. So first I will attack the Cultist. 7 and 7 is 14. That's enough to kill the cultist. So I get a treasure. Tome of Experience. Nice. I'm going to use that to level him up. He gains 2. And 
I get an extra ability. I think I'm going to take Spectral Ram. Alright, so I killed the Cultist, and then now I'm going to attack this Orc Smasher. And it is a 2. Do I want to reroll that? Because uh, I've got the Lucky Charm for Taric. Uh, I think I'm going to use the Lucky Charm to reroll. 9 and 7 is 16. That's enough to hit it. So he takes a damage. Lucky Charm's gone. And then now Heskin can move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, actually, I think there's supposed to be a door right there. Uh, and then for Heskin, the Lava Flow activate. Oh, he didn't explore, so an encounter card. Attack each hero. I'm going to negate this. I've got tons of experience sitting over here. So negate it. Uh, now the Orc guys, or no, Cave Bear is going to move in and attack. 18. I'm going to have to Tumbling Escape. Uh, the attack misses. Place your hero on any tile within one tile of where you started. So, I think if I put him here, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I think that would be a good place. So, the bear misses and I just hop over to that tile. And then the Orc Smasher is going to activate both of them. So this one will move here. Or, well, I guess... I'll move this one here to attack, and this one's going to move there. So the one attacking Heskin is going to hit him for one. Alright, I thought I was going to be destroyed early on, but I'm hanging in by a thread. So it is now a tumbling escape. It is Tarek's turn. I'm going to move him here, and I'm going to use... Actually, I'm going to use Lucky Strike on this guy. Ah, which one did I place first? I think that was the second one that was placed. So this one's associated to Heskin. So I want the one that's associated with Tarek is going to attack if I kill the other one. Alright, so I'm going to attack that one with... Uh, what did I say? Lucky Strike? Yeah, Lucky Strike that one. Five, ouch. Five and seven is a twelve. And that is not enough. So that missed. Encounter card. Caven, I am negating that. Uh oh. Running out of experience now. Uh, Orc Smashers are going to activate. So I'll have this one attack Heskin, 20, so it does a damage, and then this one's going to come in and attack Heskin, that's a damage, and it is now Heskin's turn. So, I guess he is going to, ah, uh, Hypnotism could kill one of them, Arc Lightning could attack two. Alright, I am going to Arc Lightning, and that lets me attack two, so I'll attack the one with the damage first. Six and nine is fifteen, which is enough to hit, so that guy dies. I get a treasure. Potion of Healing, holy crap, that's good. And then I'll attack that guy. Ouch, it's a miss, right? Four and nine is thirteen. I don't want to heal Tarek. I guess I'm actually giving the Potion of Healing to Tarek. And then that way, since I missed, I won't move. And then that'll be the end of my turn. So, Encounter card. Attack the active hero and each hero within one tile. No! 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 I'm one experience short. What happened? No, no I'm not. Because I just killed one guy. Alright, that makes sense. I was like, I thought I had five. Alright, so I can negate it. But that's the last one I can negate like that. And then the cave bear is going to move in. That guy was... Terex, I believe. Terex placed his back there. 
Now, Taric was the one who died, so this Orc Smasher is actually Heskin, so he's going to attack Heskin. 11, that's a hit. And it is now Taric's turn. So I need to do the Potion of Healing on myself. Although now it's kind of sad because both are gone. Uh, I'm going to put all my money on this. One, two, three. So I'm adjacent to the door. It is unlocked. Awesome. And then now I'm going to Lucky Strike. And since I have Dwarven ha Hammer, it adds one, two attacks that are adjacent to monster, or if I'm adjacent to a monster, that's one, so attack, six, uh, six, and the seven is 13, and the plus one makes it a 14, crap, that missed it by one, uh, all right, so he has no monster, so the encounter card, oh, it's a poison dart trap, poison dart trap on the final Place. That's not good. Uh, attack each hero on this tile. Great. So let's attack him. 8 and 8 is 16. That's enough to do 2 and poison. So, yep, that happened. So it is now Heskin's turn. He is going to use his ability. Spectral Ram and try to attack the Orc Smasher. That's going to be enough to do three damage to kill it, so that's good. I just gotta survive, which I don't think is gonna happen. So, Treasure Card, Potion of Recovery, awesome. Use it anytime in one condition. Oh, I guess I could use it on, have the one. Uh, so, yeah, I'll use his. So he's going to use the Potion of Recovery to uh, recover the poison from Tarek, so Tarek won't die when he starts. And then he is going to move one, two, three to the exit. Well, I don't know if I can do that or not, because uh, the trap is technically in the way. I mean, story-wise it would just be blocking the door, so I don't think I can do that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then end and have to take an event uh, or an encounter. And it's draw the top five and keep any reptiles. Four, five, and the only reptile is a snake, so that goes on top. And then the cave bear activates, so it's going to come in here. And it is now Tarek's turn. So Tarek is going to try to disable that trap. Crap, he failed. Uh, he can't stay on there, so... One, two... Uh, just end it there, right? Nope, two damage it would kill him. Ay, yay. Somebody's gonna die, I bet. So that failed. Uh, yeah, I think this might be it. So, Tarek has the poison trap go off, nothing happens. Uh, he did not explore, so, Ancient Spirit's Blessing. The active hero flips up one used daily power, belonging to any hero, draw another encounter card. Daily power. Uh, so a tornado strike or invisibility or spectral ram. Uh, I guess I will go with the invisibility. Well, no, nah, let's do the. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll do the tornado strike, and I got to draw another encounter, so it might not even matter. I'm drawing a treasure token, discard, okay, so it's an environment. Alright, so to continue, it is Heskin. So, Heskin, what are you going to do? I 
think you should try to disable that trap. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a fail. I cannot open or disable this trap for the life of me. Uh, so now event or encounter. Draw a monster card and place its figure on the active hero's tile. Uh, let's see. It also attacks the hero, so that's going to be enough to kill Heskin. And the monster that would have come out is a snake. So Lava Flow, Cave Bear is going to attack Tarek. And that's going to kill him. And the snake does it, so that's it. Whatever, they're both down. And then at the beginning of Tarek's turn, it's over. So that was a failure. Hey everyone, so after I, I just lost, I went online to check uh, the, the ruling on the way traps work. And from what it seems like, everyone says that traps don't actually exist on the tile. So when the trap was blocking the secret exit, or the secure exit, I should have actually been able to to go onto the ladder. So uh, I just watched the video and it would have happened where it was Heskin in question if he could do it. So he would have been able to go and leave and then the cave bear would have came in to this tile and I believe um, Tarek was on this so let's just imagine that there was a tile here. The cave bear would have came in here and not been able to attack him. Then it would have been Heskin's turn, and, or Tarek's turn, and all he would have done is move, and he would have been out. So I should have actually succeeded in that one. I was dumb and thought that the traps uh, blocked everything, so I couldn't leave because of it. And as you can see, I, I don't know if I'll leave it in or not, but I... I guess I will. I tried multiple times to disarm the trap to just to try to get through it and it didn't work and that's what ended me. So I'm going to say that I should have actually won that one. That was just poor knowledge on my part. So what happens is when I when both of them uh, leave through the ladder I win. Uh, so I don't think there's anything I have to read. So. Adventure 7 was completed. It was my fault for not knowing the rules on that. I should keep that in mind. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave any comments, questions, uh, suggestions. Uh, vote for a fan pick. I know we I say that all the time, but there's two fan pick episodes, and when this is up, I don't know if the will have already started working on the, the first one, but there's, a, there's two in this season that we planned on doing. So uh, let us know if there's another game you'd like to vote for, whatever. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.